It's all based on things that tape does, but all of them can be exaggerated. Saturation can be exaggerated, frequency, tape, color, noise, and obviously the wow flutter part can be extremely exaggerated. Most tape machines have like under 1% wow and flutter. And, <laughs> you know, that, that slider goes all the way to 100. Tape saturates a bit. You send in a quiet signal, it's fairly clean. Don't have a lot of harmonics above that. You send in a louder signal, and you get stronger harmonics. That saturation changes a lot with frequency. So you send in a bass sound, low sound, the saturation is completely different from the, what happens in the mid-range. And what happens in the mid-range is completely different from what happens in the treble area. The way hi-hats become a little duller in tape is very different from what happens to the lowest lows of the kick drum. Especially as you get like in the sub frequencies, below 60 hertz, it gets super distorted down there. Tape always had this quality of like, almost like sandpaper or like a, a sandy quality. I could almost hear like a graininess. Never really knew what that was. Never really knew what that was. Was, was, was. Send a drum through tape and on every hit there's like kind of a burst of this sandpapery noise around it making things sound a little fatter but also like a little brighter it's cool especially for cassette tape it has a ton of that like it's it's uh like a, ma a massive amount of noise the more signal you send in the more signal you send in the more signal, the more you, signal, send signal you send in it's not like noise all around it it's not broadband noise it's like around the sound so it's it's like modulated noise or like in a in a mathy way, it's like the noise is multiplied by the signal, not just added. Do a ton of analysis, do a ton of listening, try and coax out all of the different elements separately. Do different tests for frequency response, different tests for saturation, compression effects, constant noise, modulated noise, and then f yeah, figure out how we were going to recreate all of that. Kind of every time you have to pick a characteristic and say, okay, how am, I, how am I going to model this in digital, in a plugin? How am I going to create this noise signature that when you put this signal into it changes in this way? You know, that all that stuff kind of gets boiled down to equations. Mm -hmm.